that was, I think I remember very, very vividly that he said that, you know, I was having the pain and I was not feeling well, but you know what? I finished my set. And that's why you're a rock star. <laughs> I was halfway through the last song of the set, which fortunately was the last song of the set. I say luckily, because if it was, if it was another 40 minutes to go, I would have carried on. Because uh, at the time, you know something is wrong, but you don't know, obviously, there's no way I'm going to know what that is. There was a, like an exploding in the chest area. And as the song went on, I started to feel a bit lightheaded. And I thought it was a heart attack. Anything around that kind of area, I'm thinking, well, what else can it be? And at the end of the song, I, I picked the guitar up with one hand and I lift it up in the air. And this time I took the guitar off and I tried to lift it and I just couldn't. And they took me obviously to the hospital, which was fortunately three three or four minutes away. And the aortic aneurysm is, is the common occurrence when basically when you're ascending aorta becomes bigger than normal. Sometimes when it becomes too big and when it's under stress, it can dissect. And what happened to him was there was an aortic dissection within an aneurysm. And that is an absolute life-threatening emergency. I don't think there are any exact numbers, but about 20% people make it to the hospital alive. And uh, I mean, you know, he was one of those 20%. We went out, I think, five months after it happened. He was flying right from, right from the time he got up and later uh, he made a fantastic recovery. I don't know if it was uh, the right thing or the wrong thing to do in, in retrospect, but it was the right thing from my healing process. I wanted to get back on the guitar, get back out on the road. They saved my life. I mean, there's, there's no, they, they made it possible for me to come home and hold my daughter again and cut the lawn and play guitar and do all the normal things that I can do. So I'm forever grateful to them. The biggest joy for any, you know, any surgeon is to see their, their patients do well uh, and, and to see them back uh, like like we're seeing him right now. With birds, he's, he's happy and he's, he's uh, functioning. We love him for who he is and what he has done for all of us and how he entertains us. And I'm just happy that that, that guy could play a small part in, in getting him back to, to where he is right now.